Hi everyone, I'm Tammy, and in this video I'm going to explain to you how I mix paint for base coating statues. So what I do is I take a five gallon bucket and I fill it just above the halfway mark with water. Then I take two gallons of my preferred type of paint, which is Bear Premium Plus. This is exterior semi-gloss enamel. It's 100% acrylic paint. I simply add two gallons to the water and I mix it thoroughly. Once I got to this point, I can go ahead and dip the statues. The most important thing prior to base coating is making sure that your statue is clean, free of any dirt and debris. And also, this is just what I prefer to do. I use a metal file and I file the edges at the bottoms and along seams. Then I just rinse them off in water and let them dry and they're ready for base coating. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and drop this here in the bucket. Let the excess drip off. And then I use metal racks on tables so I don't pick up any dirt and debris and so it dries thoroughly. It's very important that if you're using this method that you mix it well prior to each use because the solids content from the paint, of course, settles to the bottom. And also you wanna make sure you keep it covered at all times when not in use. Also, if you find that evaporation has taken place, then you can go ahead and just simply add more water to your mix. So I'll go ahead and do another piece. It's very important that you wear gloves also when doing this, even though I'm not, but you should. So now I'm just going to allow the excess to drip off and place it on the rack. My reason for using this method with a five gallon bucket is because I can base coat so many at one time and that's how I prefer to do it. Um, I'll spend a day filing several hundred of statues and then I'll spend another day base coating and then I'll spend another day contrasting and then final color of course is my last step. So when I contrast over the base coat, once it's dry, this is simply a mixture of white paint with a little bit of my base coat mixed up and then I just dry brush over for this effect. And then once this dries, I go over with color, which gives me some undertones. So that's basically it. Um, if you find the videos helpful, of course, you can subscribe to the channel. I will be trying to add more videos in the upcoming weeks. Also, we have a Facebook page called Painting Concrete Statues. We have several talented people in that group that can offer some insight as to their method for painting statues as well. So that's it. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll have some more videos out here relatively soon.